What's up guys, it's JTV Gaming here, and today we have the ninth episode of our FC Wurzburg Road to Glory. And to start this episode off, we're going to look at our Youth Academy, and our first scout will be going to Ecuador to find some strong players, our second scout to Venezuela to find some attackers, and our third scout to Colombia to find some attackers. Looking at the team, it is now a 4-star team, as we have a 75-rated offense, a 76-rated midfield, and a 74-rated defense. For this season, we will continue to line up in that 4-3 attack, as we'll have Muller in goal, Decker at right back, Lubicic and Martinson at center backs, Thomason at left back, Backer and Sontheimer at center mids, Vega at attacking mid, Gubmans at right wing, Schmidt at left wing, with Chris Chavili up top. One player that I've decided to loan out is Jong Su Chang, and he will be joining RC Strasbourg for a year. One player I have sold is Sergio Soria, and he will be joining Yeni Maltenspor for $1.95 million. I have decided to loan out Thomason, our left back, to Villarreal for one year. Martinson will also be going out on a one year loan, and he will be joining Arsenal. Our, one of our backup goalkeepers, Haas, has left the club to join Bakashir for $900,000. Shen Cheng has departed the club and he will be joining Vitesse for $2.65 million. Simon Galeno will be joining CD Tondela for two years on loan. Jorge Benitez will also be going out on a two year loan and he will be joining Argentinian side Huracan. A bit of controversial transfer news is. I have sold Liam Gubbins to Chelsea for $42.3 million. Despite us just buying him last season, I have gotten rid of him as I do have a player I am looking to replace him with. That player is Gabriel Martinelli. He is currently worth $42 million, but we were able to get him on a release cause for $32.8 million from Arsenal as he will be Gubbins' replacement. With some of our extra money, I have also gone on to buy Unai Nunez for $29.3 million. The squad is currently lacking a lot of depth, so I will be fixing that problem by promoting a multitude of youth players, and the first of which is Ricardo Avia, as he is a defensive-minded left back from Uruguay, who is a 62 overall with a potential of 84 to 90. Avia is an exciting prospect who can play left back or center back, so we will definitely keep him. The second player I'm promoting is Alvaro Guerrero, he is a playmaking right mid from Argentina who is 5'8". He is a 62 overall with the potential of 81 to 87. Guerrero can play right back or left back, however he is only showing great potential, but since he is an attacking minded outside back I may keep him around for that skill set. We now have our first game in the Bundesliga as we will be hosting VFL Wolfsburg at the Flyer Alarm Arena. We will be lining up in that 4-3 attack. We have made a couple of changes as we will have Müller in goal. Hemorrhage at right back, Lubicic and Nunez at center backs, Decker at left back, Backer and Santaheimer at center mids, Vega at attacking mid, Martinelli at right wing, Schmidt at left wing with Christian Vili up top. Wolfsburg will be lining up in a 4-3-1. They do have a very good team, so this could easily be a very tough game for us. In stoppage time of the first half, we have the ball in a dangerous area as Santaheimer gets the ball. He's able to skill pass one of their defenders before crossing a back post to Vega who is able to put the ball over the keeper to put us up one to nothing in the dying moments of the first half. Just after halftime in the 48th minute, Wolfsburg has the ball. They are able to get it into a dangerous area as we cannot effectively deal with it before they put it into the back of the net as we are now tied one to one in the 49th minute. In the 61st minute, the ball is played out wide to Schmidt. Schmidt has plenty of time to line up his cross. He cuts it back to Santaheimer. Santaheimer is able to shoot and put it into the back of the net to put us up 2-1 to one in the 62nd minute. In the 76th minute, we are not able to effectively clear the ball before Wolfsburg capitalized on our mistake and put the ball into the back of the net to tie the game up at 2-2 two to two in the 77th minute. At full time, we would end up tying the game at 2-2 two to two, thanks to goals from Vega and Santaheimer being cancelled out by goals from Arujo and Schlager. One player that will be departing the club is Diego Campos as he will be joining Chapinesque on a two-year loan move. Bram Decker will be departing the club and joining Benvenetto for $4.4 million. Now I have a little bit more controversial transfer news as I have sold Max Schmidt to Bologna for $4.1 million. He currently is not a high enough overall for us. However, he does have potential to be there, so we may buy him back, but I'm not sure. The player that I have bought to replace him is Ricardo Horta. 
He can play left wing or right wing, and we bought him for $28.4 million. Horta is a good scorer, so that's why I did buy him, as I want our wings to be scoring a lot of goals this season. Another player I have sold is Eric Henriksen, and he will be leaving the club for $2.45 million to be joining Issa. Akira Kapakami will be leaving the club on a one-year loan, and he will be joining VFL Wolfsburg. Since our squad depth is very, very low right now, I will be promoting a flurry of youth players who are not good enough to be first team quality. However, we need players, and the first of which is Julian Durate. He is a physically strong center mid from Paraguay, who is a 55 overall with a potential of 77 to 85. Another player I'm promoting is Eduardo Rossi. He is a playmaking attacking mid from Brazil, who is a 56 overall with a potential of 80 to 88. Pablo Avia will be joining. He is a physically strong right back from Paraguay. He is a 57 overall with a potential of 80 to 86. Alfonso Guzman will also be joining. He is a technically gifted right mid from Venezuela. He is a 58 overall with a potential of 71 to 91. German Carrizo will be joining. He is a 5 foot 5 attacking right wing from Peru, who is a 55 overall with a potential of 80 to 88. Eduardo Diaz will also be joining as he is an attacking left wing from Peru who is a 55 overall with the potential of 71 to 89. Fernando Benitez will be the last player we promote as he is a physically strong defensive mid from Ecuador. He is a 58 overall with the potential of 78 to 94. One player that will be leaving us once the transfer window opens is Hong Jil Cho as he will be joining Leeds United for $2.9 million. Alvaro Guerrero will be joining IK Sirius for $810,000 when the transfer window opens. We now have a game in the Bundesliga as we travel to face Hamburg at the Volk Volkspark Stadion. Hamburg will be lining up in a 4-3-3 defend. The player we're going to have to watch out for is Goetze. We will we'll be lining up in this 4-3-3 holding and the change we've made is Schmidt is out and Horta is in to make his debut. In the third minute Horta is in behind the defense. He shoots from the edge of the box and puts it into the back of the net to put us up 1-0 in the fourth minute of the game. In the 69th minute, Martinelli has the ball in the box. He crosses it across to Kershavili, who puts it into the back of the net to put us up 2-0 in the 69th minute. At full time, we will go on to win 2-1. We have a little bit of transfer news now, as Jens Winter will be leaving the club for $2.2 million and joining Yeni Metzenspor. We now have some bad news, as Kershavili has torn his MCL, and he's going to be out for the next two months. In the second round of the DFP Pokal, we were able to easily go past Kaiser Slaughter for nothing. One player that from our youth academy that I'm going to be promoting to the first team is Adriano Amaral. He's an attacking Brazilian right winger who is a 60 overall and has potential at 85 to 94. Amaral is surprisingly showing potential to be special and he can play right wing, right mid, or left mid. So I definitely will be keeping him around as he's a player I do think will be very good for us. We now have another game in the league as we travel to face FC Osberg at the WWK Arena. Osberg will be lining up in a 4-4-2. We will be lining up in a 4-3-3 holding. We will have Muller in goal, Hemorrhage at right back, Lubicic and Nunez as center backs, Decker at left back, Santaheimer defensive mid, Vega and Backer at center mids, Martinelli and Horta on the wings with Himura up top. In the 11th minute, Backer has the ball. He's able to play it through into Horta. Horta is able to put it past the goalkeeper to put us up 1-0 in the 12th minute. In the 20th minute, Horta has the ball in the box again, and he's able to put it past the keeper near post to put us up 2-0 in the 20th minute. In the 52nd minute, the ball is played through to Horta in the box. He crosses it back post to Vega. Vega's first header does not go, but his second does to put us up 3-0 in the 52nd minute. In the 63rd minute, the ball is switched to Martinelli. Martinelli looks to clear it, but he cannot do so. Osberg capitalized on his mistake and put the ball into the back of the net to make the score 3-1 in the 64th minute. In the 86th minute, Vega has the ball. He plays into Sontaheimer. Sontaheimer finds Horta. Horta plays it out wide to Vega. Vega gets around the defense before he crosses it back post to Himura, who puts it into the back of the net to put us up 4-1 in the 87th minute. At full time, we would go on to win 4-1 thanks to goals from Horta, Vega, and Himura. We now have the third round of the DFB Pokal, where we will be hosting Borussia Mönchengladbach at the Flyer Alarm Arena. I did not make any changes from our last starting 11. 
Gladbach will be lining up in a 4-2-3-1. We're going to have to watch out for their striker, Luka Baiku, as he is a strong and fast finisher. In the 45th minute, Gladbach had the ball out wide. The ball is then able to be worked around in the box before they shoot it into the back of the net to put us down 1-0 in the stoppage time of the first half. In the 61st minute, Lubicic has the ball in our own half. He tries to switch it, but he turns it over. And Gladbach capitalized on that mistake to put them up 2-0 in the 62nd minute. In the 85th minute, Gladbach are able to get a third goal as we are now down 3-0 in the 85th minute. In the 87th minute, Gladbach half the ball in our half again. Decker takes out a player. Lubicic is then beaten by Morales as we are now down 4-0 in the 88th minute. At full time, we would have gone to lose 4-0 as this definitely was a very bad way for us to go out. We now have a game in the Bundesliga as we host Bayern Leverkusen. I have again not made any changes to the starting lineup. Leverkusen will be lining up in a 3-4-2-1. They have a plethora of very good players in Pickford, McTominay, Havertz, Richarlison, and Guedes. So we will definitely have to watch out for those players. In the 14th minute, Munir has the ball for Leverkusen. He plays it into Gojak, their striker, who does a 1-2 with Guedes before Gojak curls it around Muller to put Leverkusen up 1-0 in the 15th minute. In the 42nd minute, we turn the ball over in a dangerous area before Leverkusen immediately looked to counterattack us. Gojak plays it through for Munir, before, and Munir puts it past Muller as we are now down 2-0 in the 43rd minute. In the 51st minute, Becker has the ball. He plays it out to Decker. Decker then cuts it back. He plays it into Backer. Backer is then able to put it past the goalkeeper to put us up 2-1 to one in the 52nd minute. In the 62nd minute, Santa Hammer is dribbling at the defense before he plays it through to Backer. Backer takes a touch past the defender, gets it onto his left, and puts it past the keeper to tie the game up at 2-2 two to two in the 63rd minute. In the 87th minute, Leverkusen have the ball in a dangerous area. The player is able to get the ball out wide. He crosses it back post. Mariani is beaten in the air by Havertz as we are now down at 3 to 2 in the 88th minute. In stoppage time of the second half, Martinelli gets the ball from Horta. He plays it back to Horta. Horta then gets in the box and he's able to put it past the goalkeeper to tie the game up at 3 to 3 in the last seconds of the game. At full time, we were able to escape with a draw after that late equalizer from Horta. Heading into the month of January, we are currently 12th in the league with 17 points and we are 7 points above the relegation zone, which I think is good enough. In the DFB Pokal, we were knocked out in the third round by Mgladbach. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I post a lot of other FIFA content on my channel, so if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. See you later, guys.